Why does Joe Biden make so much stuff up? And will it hurt him against Trump in the general election? There's much talk online, especially among Bernie Sanders supporters, about whether Joe Biden is in cognitive decline, whether he has dementia, why he's so incoherent. Now, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to make a medical diagnosis. Apart from to say that in terms of his speech and his memory, there's clearly undeniably been a lot of decline in recent years. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. But today, forget the weird stuff that Biden says that doesn't make any sense. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the goal, you know the, you know the thing. Forget all of that, though, and focus on his falsehoods. The fact that he just makes stuff up that he does seem to be a fabulist. Here are just five examples. Number one, his arrest in apartheid South Africa. The former vice president said three times during the month of February alone that he got arrested trying to see Nelson Mandela in prison. I had the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. Except it's a lie. Biden himself was forced to fess up on CNN. When I said okay. arrested, I meant I was not able to, I was not able to move. Cops, upper counters would not let me go with them, made me stay where I was. I guess I, I wasn't arrested, I was stopped. To be clear, he didn't misspeak, he didn't misremember, it wasn't a gaffe, it was a lie. And a really bad one. Because he even claimed at one point last month that Mandela later thanked him for getting arrested. Number two, there's the silver star that never was. Over the years, Biden has told a moving but false war story in speeches and at rallies. He did it in New Hampshire last August. This guy climbed down a ravine, carried this guy up on his back under fire, and the general wanted me to pin the silver star on him. I got up there and stand, this is God's truth, my word is a Biden. He stood his attention. I went to pin him, I said, sir, I don't want the damn thing. Do not pin it on me, sir, please, sir, do not do that. He died. He died. He didn't pin the medal on the guy who wasn't a Navy captain. He just made it up. And Biden has told this story time and again over the years, changing the details in it ever so slightly on each occasion. So sorry, it's not a gaffe. It's pure misrepresentation. Then there's Iraq, where the former vice president says he only voted for the war because the Bush administration tricked him. I made a mistake. I said it 14 years ago. I trusted George Bush to keep his word. He said he was not going to go into Iraq. Except Biden was calling for war with Saddam Hussein in 1998. The only way we're going to get rid of Saddam Hussein, and it's going to require guys like you in uniform to be back on foot in the desert taking, the son of a, the, uh, taking Saddam down. He also says now that he opposed the Iraq war as soon as it started. From the moment shock and awe started, from that moment, I was opposed to the effort and I was outspoken. A complete fabrication. Here he is several months after the invasion began, praising both the war and George Bush. Some of my own party have said that it was a mistake to go to Iraq in the first place. But the cost of not acting against Saddam, I think, would have been much greater. The president of the United States is a bold leader and he is popular. Again, Biden just makes stuff up. He makes demonstrably false claims without an iota of shame. Number four, there's Biden's role in the civil rights movement, which is pretty easy to summarize. He didn't have one. When I marched in the civil rights movement, I marched with tens of thousands of others to change attitudes. And we changed attitudes. When I was about the age of the guy standing over there, I got involved in the civil rights movement. He knows it's untrue. Don't take my word for it. Take his. I was not an activist. I was not out marching. I was not down in Selma. I was not anywhere else. Imagine as a white guy lying about your role in the civil rights struggle. Finally, you all know that Biden had to quit his 1988 campaign after he was caught plagiarizing parts of his stump speech. But Biden also lied about his grades. I think, I, I, think I probably have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect. <laughs> the first year in law school, I decided I didn't want to be in law school and ended up in the bottom two thirds of my class and then decided I wanted to stay, went back to law school and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. In fact, he graduated 76th in a law school class of 85 students. Oh dear, pretending that you're smarter than you are and inflating your academic success who does that remind you of? I've also heard I was first in my class at the Wharton School of Finance. 
And sometimes when you hear it, you don't say anything. You just let it go. Trump didn't come top of his class either. Obviously, though, Biden is no Trump. No one can compare to a serial fabricator like the president, who's told more than 16,000 lies since coming to office. But look, saying the former vice president is not as dishonest or as deluded as the current president is just not good enough. It isn't. It's lowering the bar beyond belief. And the evidence is in. Joe Biden has a habit of making things up. And it's not just wrong, it'll hurt him. Because if you think the guy who made up getting arrested in South Africa, who falsely claimed to have marched in the civil rights movement, if you think he's the safe candidate against Trump, then I'm sorry, but you're lying to yourself.